Hello good people. Welcome back. Let's talk about uh, reasons behind plucking. And again, how can you prevent plucking? So first of all, what is plucking? Plucking is uh, the formation of plaques. That is a very vague uh, definition. But basically, it is the formation of substances that block the flow of blood in your blood vessel. So this solid is what we call a plaque. And these uh, solids, after some time, they start breaking off. And when they broke off, uh, you find those uh, particles in your blood, which can occlude blood vessels, smaller blood vessels that uh, supply your brain uh, with blood, and that can cause stroke and death. So basically, that's a layman understanding of what plucking is. You just form a mass in your blood vessels, then this mass is responsible for blocking blood vessels. First of all, it will block blood flow. And after it blocks blood flow, blood cells will start accumulating. Once blood cells start accumulating in your blood vessel, then now it blocks it. Once it blocks it, then the organs that this blood vessel supply, the organs that this blood vessel takes blood to, they become necrotic. They start to rot. Why? Because there's no nutrients, there's no oxygen going to these uh, organs, so they start to die, then they start to rot. That's the same concept with the brain. So blood vessels that supply the brain, once they are occluded, or once they are blocked by this plaque, there is no supply of oxygen to the brain, there is no nutrients to the brain, brain uh, the likes of glucose and even ketone bodies to the brain, and therefore brain cells start to die slow by slow. And uh, that can cause a stroke or paralysis of your body. So those people who have stroke, uh, and possibly you have a chance to watch this video, now understand where your stroke came from. Now, there is so much uh, confusion around how plaques form or how plucking comes to occur. Now, formation of plucking starts with uh, uh, basically sugar. Sugar is the one that forms, uh, that, that makes blood cells or red blood cells to become very sticky. And once they become sticky, uh, they attach to blood vessels on the walls of the blood vessels. And from there, all, when this blood is flowing, all these cells come and uh, uh, get this occlusion. So they start accumulating on this occlusion. They start growing. The lamp starts growing. And little by little, it blocks the blood vessel. Okay? So this starts with sugar. And mostly, it's confused with cholesterol. So we'll get to understand how cholesterol comes to play a part in this. There are several types of plaques. We cannot only... Uh, lean on the side of cholesterol and forget that there are other factors that cause plaquing that we need to handle before we even think about handling cholesterol. Okay, so that will be handled uh, later on in the video. Now, along this lane, I've just indicated this arrow shows those types of uh, 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 those substances that cause plaquing. So different types of plaquing are caused by different types of <coughs> substances. Sorry. Substance number one is amyloid protein. This is a very dangerous protein to the brain. It destroys the brain cells. It destroys your nerve cells. And therefore, it's a very dangerous protein. And this protein can be eliminated by easily fasting. It's an easy one to eliminate. You just fast for like 48 to 72 hours and it starts to, to disappear miraculously. So fasting is a very important uh, uh, element in development of your brain and also rejuvenation of nerves and the brain cells that are already suffering from a, a, a myeloid attack. So this protein affects the brain, the kidneys, the liver, the pancreas, the joints causing rheumatoid arthritis. Now when it attacks the pancreas, it destroys beta cells. And we all know that beta cells are the ones that are, uh, are involved in formation of insulin. And therefore if you destroy, this, uh, you destroy these beta cells in the pancreas, that means you will, uh, you will have deficiency in insulin. And this can lead to either type 1 or type 2 depending on the age or the level at which it is happening. So type 1 and type 2 diabetes can come as a result of destruction of beta cells in the isolates of Langerhans by amyloid protein. So this is a very dangerous protein. It also causes plucking. Okay? So that is f the first one is amyloid protein plucking. So these are the different types of plucking. So you can now understand when you talk about plucking, we don't just talk about cholesterol. And that's why we keep insisting uh, that cholesterol is not as dangerous as we think because there are two types of cholesterol. And one is dangerous. Yes, it is involved in formation of plucking, but the other one is very important in formation of your blood cells and your hormones. So, that is number one, amyloid protein. Now, we already said that it can cause uh, uh, 
diabetes. Also, when it, uh, it affects the joints, then it causes inflammation and formation of toxic substances in the joints that will lead you to uh, an autoimmune reaction. And this is where, or this is the source or cause of rheumatoid arthritis. And those of you who have experienced rheumatoid arthritis, you know how painful it is and you go for those shots, those, um, those uh, corticosteroid shots that will help you lower inflammation and reduce the pain. But you see you've not handled the myeloid. So basically it will still cause uh, the same condition. So you'll keep going for these shots all the time, but you'll not be solving the situation. Good. And then arteries again. So arteries is where it causes plucking. Now in plucking in cause in in in, uh, in arteries it causes occlusion. Now this occlusion is the one that uh, again, apart from just the protein being toxic to the brain, this occlusion again brings problems to the brain because of low supply of oxygen and nutrients. So uh, avoid this protein. How would you avoid it? Start fasting. Simple. Good. <clears throat> Number two is calcium. Now. Good thing is uh, formation of calcium in uh, blood vessels that uh, cause this plaquing. Advantage of calcium, we have drugs that will help you handle this. And these are the, ones, the drugs called CCBs. CCBs are calcium channel blockers, the likes of nifedipine, amlodipine. Those are the drugs that can help you uh, recover from uh, calcium plaquing. Now, I want you to know that what we are doing, we're just mentioning the different types of plaquing and the sources of this plaquing, how they come to happen. And then... We'll also be mentioning therapeutic uh, drug treatment for this, if at all there's any. For instance, for myeloid, we don't have drug treatment, but for calcium, we have a drug treatment. Sorry, for myeloid, we also have a drug treatment, but these drugs are very toxic. So the only solution or the better solution is fasting, as we mentioned. But for calcium uh, plucking, we can use calcium channel blockers. And most of uh, diabetic patients and hypertensive patients are on calcium channel blockers, uh, specifically nifedipine. Okay, so that one is to help you re reduce or prevent calcium plaquing or plaquing. Number three is damage to the, the, the arteries. So basically what I'm mentioning, I'm mentioning them randomly so that after that we can get to arrange them sequentially, how they happen uh, sequentially. So number three is uh, artery damage. Now artery damage is caused by insulin resistance. Insulin is, very, is a very dangerous uh, hormone to your arteries. Also sugar. So what does this do? Insulin destroys the endothelial lining of the blood vessels. Now once it destroys those uh, endothelial, li endothelial lining of blood vessels, it causes leaking of proteins. Now once it causes leaking of proteins or leaking of contents of the blood, those proteins encounter the immune cells. Once they encounter the immune cells, that's an autoimmune reaction because now your immune cells start targeting uh, these proteins to attack them because they are foreign agents to, to the immune cell. And that will bring about inflammation. And also plucking. So that is how artery damage uh, happens. So sugar is a very dangerous uh, uh, ingredient to or uh, substance to your blood vessels in, in conjunction with insulin because sugar and insulin go hand in hand. And that bring us to our, brings us to our next point which is insulin and sugar. So insulin and sugar plays the major role in artery de de destruction and that is a huge problem in uh, plucking of blood arteries. The next one is cholesterol. Now, you realize cholesterol is far away. So cholesterol, the dangerous cholesterol, which is low-density lipoprotein. We also have medication for cholesterol plucking. So once you have this plaque as a result of cholesterol, then automatically you go to statins. So we'll have statins here. we have fibrates and fibrates. These are drugs that we've mentioned before, uh, and they're used in management of your uh, cholesterol levels. They lower your cholesterol levels. This is, these drugs are not selective to low-density lipoprotein. They are not selective to this bad cholesterol. They attack all forms of cholesterol, including the good cholesterol. And what does that mean? That means you will have problems in your hormonal balance. Your testosterone, your estrogens will go down. Your vitamin D, all hormones in your body will go down, including the cortisol hormones, which are supposed to help you fight stress. So now you'll experience all problems that are hormone-related as a result of using uh, fibrils and statins in, uh, uh, in management of cholesterol levels. So how do you manage cholesterol? Again, diet is very important in management of uh, cholesterol levels. Don't wait until you reach a point where you have these plaques and you'll need fibrils and statins. 
you can start dieting now so that in future you are safe from this and you will not use this drug so your hormones will be fixed the next one is bacteria a lot of bacteria in your blood sepsis and all that can also cause plucking good thing is we have uh, development in antibiotics but again antibiotics are the highly uh, abused drugs over the counter most of you go to the pharmacies and buy antibiotics and use them when you have a common cold <clears throat> most of you buy antibiotics when you suspect you have uh, maybe typhoid or uh, blood infection in quotes or sepsis or even uh, a problem with wounds and skin problems so you buy antibiotics to to help you uh, heal these wounds now uh, so this one is treated by antibiotics the antibiotic therapy that will help you uh, uh, kill these uh, microbials in blood and therefore fight your plaquing. So you see, there are several factors. Now the last one is WBC or inflammation. So white blood cells can also overreact to cause plaquing. And this one can also be managed by drugs which are corticosteroids. Eh? So you, you inject drugs that will now uh, suppress your immunity so that it doesn't fight your, your, your own tissues back. Okay, so at least for bacteria, for white blood cells, for cholesterol, for insulin, because this one we have anti-diabetic drugs, DM drugs can be used to uh, reduce insulin resistance and also uh, to lower the amounts of sugar. Then artery damage and calcium channel blockers for calcium. So basically some of, most of these things you can use drugs to manage them. If at all they've already happened, they've already formed those plaques. Okay, but it's important to prevent because we emphasize on, we emphasize on uh, non-drug management of conditions. So it's better to prevent than to wait until you get to this plucking so to start now the treatment. Because treatment is expensive. Healthcare is very expensive uh, at the moment. So it's better to prevent through diets than to, to wait until you, you come to this point. Good. So let's try and arrange these ones in a, in a, in a sequential manner. How they start to happen, what follows, what, what follows uh, uh, the other. And at the end of the day, are we doing justice by trying to manage cholesterol levels and forgetting we have other uh, forms of plucking? So number one, we start always with the major victim, which is sugar. So number one is insulin and sugar. So that one is the major culprit information of plucking. Before you even find all these others, sugar has to play the major role. Because sugar will cause insulin resistance. Insulin resistance will bring you all the others. So that is number one. Okay? And uh, we've already explained about the insulin and how it affects the blood, uh, blood uh, arteries sorry, and uh, blood vessels. Number two, now we already have insulin, high insulin and we have sugar, will now affect arteries. So number two is artery damage. So plucking caused by artery damage. Then number three is definitely the bacteria. Now we've compromised our arteries, then bacteria comes in. Okay? So after, after bacteria comes in now, since you have a lot of foreign uh, bacteria in your blood, what happens? The immune system starts to target these bacteria to destroy them. So basically now, we will have an immune reaction, which is to protect you from the foreign uh, bacteria. And now white blood cells and inflammation will come in as number four. Are we okay? So that's good. After that, what happens now? Now, we've already had white blood cells and you already have poor diets. So basically what will form now is cholesterol. So you see cholesterol comes in as number five, which is way beyond or way far from the, from the first four. Now you can imagine trying to target only cholesterol to treat blockage of blood vessels. Cholesterol is at number five. So you're trying to treat something that is already far away and leaving the first four so if any case you're supposed to target sugar clear sugar and everything else clears up but you're targeting number five with drugs that are statins and uh, fibrates and forgetting you have sugar you have bacteria you have immune reactions and artery damage so you are supposed to solve this through solving sugar the sugar issue then after that all the others go back to normal okay so sugar is your enemy in of, I'll keep repeating that the white substance that is highly uh, overrated and is the most dangerous is sugar. So stay away from sugar by all means. Okay? So cholesterol comes at number five. Now, number six is the protein, which is very dangerous, comes in uh, almost last, but is very dangerous to your brains and the kidneys. So this one can also be very dangerous. So already start fasting uh, to prevent the accumulation of this. 
amyloid. And then the last one definitely is calcium buildup. So this is number seven. Calcium starts to build up plate uh, after all this has happened. So basically, cholesterol, let me tell you an interesting fact about cholesterol. You've already had the first four messing up your blood arteries and blood vessels. And you have this inflamed blood vessel. So what does cholesterol do? Cholesterol comes in to form a mesh to help your blood vessels or your blood vessels or blood arteries to recover from that injury. Now this mesh that is formed with cholesterol is the one that people confuse with plucking that is caused by sugar. So you start handling cholesterol which came in to help you heal your arteries and you leave sugar which caused the problem. So are we really solving the problem by handling cholesterol alone? We are not. We are supposed to handle sugar to clear the plaque. Then cholesterol comes in to help you like form a mesh to start healing uh, the healing process to the, to the blood vessel. Now this blood, this mesh, again, once you, you, once you start targeting that mesh that is formed by cholesterol, just remember that mesh is formed by several things. One is calcium, two is cholesterol, and the other one is protein. So even if you target cholesterol alone, you will not solve the problem in plucking. So it's a multifactorial uh, issue and you're supposed to target multifactors, not just one thing. And we are, we are crucifying cholesterol for no good reason. So basically those are the, uh, the types of plaques that we have and their effects on blood vessels and uh, your organs. And again, how to prevent them. So basically, <coughs> these ones you can prevent using drugs, you can treat them using drugs. But the major one is appropriate dieting, which is healthy keto diets high, carb, high, high uh, uh, fat, moderate protein, and low carb diets. Then fasting is very important in uh, uh, clearance of plucking. And again, stay away from sugar. That is basically the baseline. Stay away from sugar by all means. So sugar is the major culprit in your cardiovascular diseases and your stroke. So thank you for watching. See you in the next.